Prudencio Padilla, the man for whom this whole entire plaza is named after. He was a, a naval commander for the rebel forces of Colombia and Venezuela when they were fighting for independence against Spain. And after victories, was considered a hero. So this was also a significant event because uh, General Padilla was a uh, descendant from a mother who was YU and a father who was an African. This is significant because prior to the land revolution, so independence from Spain, uh, if you were, if you weren't white, you could only get uh, so far up the the ranks in military, politics, and most things in general. <laughs> But before that, it was mostly the Waiyu people living here, and I guess it still is. Uh, it's the largest indigenous group in Colombia, 700,000 strong. contact from Spaniards or Europeans in general came from when the uh, Sp Spaniards were came here looking for gold because there was a lot of gold in the region in general but what they ended up finding a lot of was pearls so as with Santa Marta and Cartagena the other uh, kind of Spanish port settlements uh, it was constantly being attacked by pirates Some of the 
why you crafts. part of town here. Century. There's the oysters dried up, so to speak, and the uh, city, which currently has about uh, 140,000, uh, kind of took an economic downturn. But uh, eventually, tourism picked up. Rio Hacha is really nice, nice beach, as you can see. famous because of the uh, famous artist, I believe his name was Gabriel Marquez. He wrote several books, um, including A Hundred Years of Solitude, which in which he wrote about Rio Hacha. This kind of park here is called well, it's called Monumento de uh, Realismo Magico, which is, I think, uh, someone in El Salvador was explained to me in the airport in Panama City that uh, it's related to the um, the type of writing that that mixes mystical magical elements with a kind of real life setting and that's uh, often how he wrote his books and yeah so since he wrote extensively about it we have this uh, little park dedicated to him today Rio Hacha and the surrounding areas which are desert like produce leather and other minerals that they export and it would and Rio Hacha was also named the capital of the department of Guajira which 
which naturally brings a lot of jobs to the city. video like I mentioned uh, specific to the Wayu people so I definitely recommend you check that out as well definitely part of enriching your experience here and uh, I was in this part of Colombia as part of my first bicycle tour from Canada to Argentina if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I went and everything I did I uh, have that over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures, you can do so by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.